Bud Walker, and welcome to Beginner's Plectrum Banjo. This banjo is called a plectrum, and it has a longer neck than this banjo right here, which is called a tenor. And I thought you'd like to see in the beginning of our workshop today that you'll see some guys playing this little short neck one and some guys playing the long one. So you want to decide which one it is that you'd like to play yourself. So this is about the plectrum banjo. We're going to talk about that today, but I thought it'd be good to make the distinction between the plectrum and tenor just in case you weren't sure which one you should be playing. I know I was. The right hand part of banjo playing is really what makes the music. It's what makes the expression, the accents. The left hand is what fingers the chords. And if I were to play Bye Bye Blues like I do, basic chord melody, and you played Bye Bye Blues, basic chord melody, the left hands would be the same. What really sells the difference between you and me is that those right hands. So we're going to talk about the right hand for starters. So what we're going to get you doing in your practice routine and in the first part of this video is practicing the right hand by itself. Then we're going to practice the left hand by itself. So that's going to be the whole philosophy behind our practice routine. Right hand, left hand, then together, practicing with a metronome, our tool for progress, okay? And number four has the accent, and we'll call that an accent, that's a standard accent in music, on beat one and three. And this one's gonna sound like something familiar to you. Listen. If I do that fast, what's it sound like? It sounds like a train. I'll do it a little faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now suppose I did the chord melody to Bye Bye Blues with this one. Let's see how that would sound. Ruffle it up, ruffle it up. And if anything you can do to get these in your brain, do it. Anyway, let's try the tune with number eight. Bye Bye Blues. Here it is. A little faster. And there's your duo style. My fingers are down on the head. And what you end up are, with is three ways to play a C chord. This way is first, this way is next, and this way is next. Okay? This is a major chord shape named by the bottom string. This is a major chord shape named by the third string. Notice the C's on the third string here. This is the third major chord shape named by the first string. You're going to do the left hand exercises. You're going to put them together with those few basic single notes and chord exercises. And there you have it. The purpose of today's tape is to join this hand and this hand and this. And don't forget, the most important thing you can do is listen and model yourself after the best players on all instruments you can find. So until the next tape, happy practicing. We'll see you next time.